Hey, Mark, why do we love tuning Mustangs so much? We love tuning Mustangs because they come with a five liter and the five liter is inherently easy to make big horsepower. It already has 12 and a half to one compression. And when the Ford Mustang comes in here, Wally already gets somewhere in the range of 400 horsepower at the wheels, just on one on a basic tune. But this one today, a lot more power. All right. International Dino Authority. Today, this 2022 Mustang is here, but it has a special surprise under the hood. It has a Whipple. Now, Whipple is the top of the food chain as far as blowers go. We're going to tune this. We're going to work our way through low RPM, medium RPM to high RPM, and we're going to tune this until it becomes a scary Mustang on the street for this driver. All right, just using the Whipple bass tune, we have uh, made a few passes because that's what we like to do. We don't like when to start making changes. We want to see where it is. And we also have to pull a lot of data. So while he's in the car, he's using the HP tuner scanner, which pulls the data. The only way you can tune is to look at what the data is actually telling you and make changes and then monitor the changes within the scanner again. So the first few baseline passes came out pretty much consistent. We're at 526 horsepower, it made 526, 527, and it also made 470 foot-pounds each time that we tested it until it got a little bit warm. As soon as it got warm, it dropped right down to 500 horse, but that's just heat. Um, so right after that, Wally started to make just a couple of small changes. We can see it smooth off a bit, and then we're up to 560 horsepower as we sit right now with the first couple of basic changes. Wally's going to be going through and tuning this for the next couple of hours, getting all of this correct and slowly working his way up and making sure that he gets every ounce of power out of the Whipple with the 91 octane that's in the tank and we use every bit of the Whipple that's on and all the base pressure. Now, this was tuned before we had the Whipple on this. It originally baseline came in as a dead stock Mustang from 2022. We made 340 horse. On the first tuning session, we worked our way up to about 399 horsepower. We never saw 400, but right about 399 horsepower. The next tuning session, customer came back, put an X pipe, put a cold air intake and a throttle body, and we worked our way through that again to get 440 horse. Now, it's gonna be a whole different world, because as soon as you add boost, you take the atmosphere, you compress it, and you jam it down the throat of that five liter Mustang, and we're gonna have some fun today tuning this Mustang. Just to finish the pass, we're already at 605 horse, 537 foot pounds, and um, we're going to just recheck the straps, make sure everything's good. I have a feeling the anti lock brakes are starting to come on, so it's making the car bounce, but uh, I'll go check the straps right away. <laughs> This engine coming up against a rev limiter. Wally actually has the rev limiter down a little bit. The uh, rev limiter that was put in it from the factory was down even lower, but when you get the Whipple, they set it at about 7,800. 
Right now it's at about 7450, and that's right where he wants to keep it until he gets his tune perfect on the top end. That's when you're gonna see the least amount of load, but you're still gonna have lots of boost up on the top end so you can adjust your timing a little differently, and you can eventually let that kind of rev through. These engines are really good anywhere between uh, 75 and 8500. They'll rev there easily, but not very often you're gonna hit that on the street. Right now, we're at 655 horsepower at the wheels, 562 foot-pounds. You'll recall when we came in, we were at 526 uh, horsepower, 527. We also made 470 foot-pounds as it was tuned when it came in. Here's where we are right now, and again, we're just working through the steps of making this correct. <laughs> Alrighty, with the torque curve we now have being as smooth as this, and we can see that the cam timing's really close here. What we want to do is see this red line pull straight through. In order to do that, we have to have our green line, which is our torque, maintain its torque as long as possible through here. So Wally's working on that, but with the torque curve this smooth, it means that he can do just a bit more work on the cam timing, make the airspeed stay up, and then after that, start sprinkling in a little bit of ignition timing and that'll bring the both lines way up in the air. That time he made almost 600 horsepower, 600 foot pounds of torque. Like we're we're tickling 700 horse and 600 foot pounds. That is, yeah, that's going to be very, very, very stealthy on the street. All right, we started out the day today at 527 horsepower and Wally just absolutely spent hours refining the tune, making the fueling correct, getting the cam timing so that it works the way it's supposed to and getting around, I think, a few of the safeties that kind of popped up at one point, the anti-lock brake system, but eventually getting the tune correct. On 91, this is now making 711 horsepower at the wheels. That's gonna be beyond impressive on the street. It's gonna pull good everywhere. You can see the torque curve over my shoulder here is very, very smooth and it's broad. It just makes power everywhere. 711 horsepower is not something to sniff at. It's something, if we go back 20 years, nobody even heard of. They, they, they couldn't even imagine 700 horsepower at the wheels. Now we have street cars, Mustangs, stock vehicles with just basic upgrades and blowers and a little bit of boost and a really great tune. And away we go, 711 horsepower at the wheels on this 2022 Mustang. Customer's gonna be thrilled. <laughs> Super happy. We left a couple of marks on the street. Thanks guys. You're welcome. I uh, super appreciate it. I uh, it's... Thanks a lot. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.